Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. Today is March 23, Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. Our Mass for today is also the Thanksgiving offering of Tatay Godoy and Nanay Medi Sandoval, Moises and Laura Evangelista and family. We continue to pray to bring to God the special intentions of all the members of the PGG service team, Aaron Moses Ebner, Emi Alcaide, Guillermo Santos, Ron Abanes, Valencia Family, Fe Lindenberger, Angie Yu, Alice Laurel, and Maria Lourdes Santos. We continue to pray for the fast recovery and complete healing of Vivencio Tolentino Sr., Lot Caraan, Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Virginia Santos, Virginia Santos Navarro, Cristina Alegre, Andrew San Beneventura, Malu Navarro, Ami Mekitsek, Rosita Villanueva, Robin Jimenez, Candy San Juan, Perlita Pablo, Susan Buendia, Ricardo Dimaano, Princess Valenton, Samantha Valenton, Romy Ramos, Lani Seda, Freddy Mistica, Ethel De Vera, Lauren Miller, Mark Valencia, Susan Petron de la Rama, Simon Gabriel de la Rama, Rod Magdibay, and Erlinda Oyoko. We remember our beloved dead, Delphine, three days death, uh, Mauro, also third day, Benito, fourth day, Wilram, fourth day, Mirna, eighth day, and Christine, eighth day. Dear brothers and sisters, for the Jews wandering in the desert, faith in God's power, presented here in the form of a bronze serpent, will save the rebellious people of God. The Pharisees have to accept Christ in faith if they want to be saved. We too must look up to the cross with the eyes of faith to become free people and God's sons and daughters. And we, the church, must become the sign of salvation raised above the nations. We put ourselves in God's presence as we welcome Him in His Word and in His body and blood. Our entrance antiphone, wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. We are gathered in the name of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Father, wants to live. May we gratefully accept life from Him as a gift and as an assignment. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Lord Jesus Christ died for us that we might live. May we live with Him a life worthy of the sons and daughters of God. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have the life-giving Spirit inspires us to go the way of Christ as people living for others. May He make us always available and open to everyone in need. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Our saving, merciful God, Wandering in our deserts of injustice and lack of love, we cry out with fear or are stunned into silence, some into doubt or despair. Give us enough trusting faith to look up to Him who took our evil and doubts upon Himself, 
suffered for them on the cross, and rose from them, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah servants, which beat the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being beaten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been beaten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, Lord, hear hear my my prayer, prayer, and and let my cry come come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has revealed Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O O Lord, Lord, hear hear my prayer, and and let my cry come come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, Lord, hear my my prayer, prayer, and let my cry come come to to you. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Glory and praise, praise to, you, to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, Many came to believe in him. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Mga kapatid, what does it really mean when we say we believe in Jesus? There are so many facts, truth about Jesus that we believe in, but what does he really mean when Jesus says, believe in me as the I am? No? Maniwala kayo sa akin. What does it really mean? What do we have to believe in him? Dapat tama yung ating pananampalataya dyan. No? When Jesus says, when we say that we believe in Jesus, we mean, and we should mean, we believe in Jesus as the one sent by the Father. We believe that He is the anointed one, the messenger, the one sent by the Father. Yun po yung ibig sabihin noon. And this has been what Jesus has been fighting for. All His dis, um, disputes and conflict with, with the scribes and the Pharisees and the Jews are all into this direction. They do not believe in Jesus as coming from the Father. And Jesus is trying to say, I am the one who came from the Father. No. And we have to believe this. We have to believe this as, par, um, as part of our of the tenets of the faith. No? In the first reading from the book of Numbers, um, this is in Exodus, no? when, when, when the people are coming from, from slavery in Egypt and they're going to the promised land. And along the way, in these 40 years, they keep on grumbling, they keep on rebelling. And today, they were rebelling about the food. They were rebelling about uh, what kind of place did you bring us. No? They, they do not have the patience to go through that. They were happy maybe in the beginning when they were delivered from the Egyptians. But now that they are going to the promised land, they got so many... A complaints against God and against Moses. And what did God do? No, he sent serpents. And, and those who were beaten, many were beaten and many died. And so they started coming to God again. No? Eh, yan naman ugali ng tao eh. Makakalimot sa Diyos. Makakalimot, quote and quote. Pero pag dumating na yung mga katastrofe, pag dumating yung mga problema, ayan. <laughs> Tayong tayo yan eh. Nakakaalala sa Diyos, muling nagsisimba, nagiging paladasal uli. This pandemic, I suppose, has really done us so much in coming closer to God. Time and again, yan ang ugali ng tao. And so what did they do? They, they, they go to Moses, the intercessor to the Father, and they say, yeah, uh, pray for us. We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray to the Lord to take the serpents away from us. And so Moses prayed to the, for the people, and God, the Father, instructed him you know, to make a bronze serpent, put it on the pole, and anyone who would look at that will be healed. Medyo apologetics. Ito yung isang foundation natin, why we keep on doing images. Imagine, hindi pinagbawal lang Panginoon na gumawa ng images. Mali lagi yung pagkaintindi ng ibang tao, no? Look, it's God Himself. It's God Himself who is telling Moses to make a serpent, bronze serpent, no? An image of the bronze serpent. Just na to, no? Ang nagsasabi mismo. And God cannot uh, contradict Himself, no? And so, yeah, anyway, and so He made that. This is being referred to in today's Gospel when Jesus says, when the man is lifted up, then people would realize that He is the one sent by the Father. I guess Jesus is also understanding the actuations of the scribes and the Pharisees in not believing in Him. Kahit naman siguro tayo, hindi, hindi agad-agad maniniwala. May darating isang tao sasabihin, ako ang anak ng Diyos. We, we would also have doubts. And Jesus understand that. Kaya nga sabi niya, you would come to know, you would come to know what I'm telling to be true when man, when the Son of Man is lifted up. No? When the Son of Man, when Jesus is crucified, hanging on the cross. Because there, we will see the depth of God's love and the depth of God's intention really to save us. And that is the only time really. No? And so, we, the church, we are the new Israel. <laughs> we are the new Jerusalem. And we really believe in Jesus. We have to believe in Jesus. And the Jews, having adito, they have also in faith to accept Jesus if they want to be saved. And uh, for us, of course, we are saved already when we got baptized. But we have to live up to the tenets and responsibilities of being saved. Ayan, parang na-deliver na yung, yung, yung mga tao from, from um, slavery in, in, in Egypt and going to the promised land. Pero ang dami nilang complaints. Tayo ba ngayon? What are your complaints? You're already saved. No, when you got baptized, you become already a member of the kingdom of God and the church. Pero, yeah, are you living up to that? That is our responsibility. No, to love, to work for peace and justice. That is what sometimes people are complaining about no, in following Jesus. But we cannot go 
really against that if we really want to, to be saved completely at the end of our lives. Faith in Jesus is necessary, but this faith in our time now has to be manifested in the good works. Good works of loving God and loving our neighbor. Good works in working for peace, justice, and love. And these things we should never complain. We should do this in our lives. Amen. Buong pananampalatayo tayong manalangin sa Ama dahil sa pamamagitan ng pagpapakasakit ng kanyang anak ay naligtas tayo sa lahat ng kaparusahan. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang bayan ng Diyos naway magtagumpay sa pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita ng kaligtasan sa mundo. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga taong tumatanggap kay Jesus bilang tagapagligtas, naway higit na madagdagan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga kaimpin na nagsisikap na hanapin ang katotohanan, naway matagpuan si Jesus na siya liwanag na tumatanglaw sa kadiliman ng buhay. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga nagdurusa dahil sa nararamdamang sakit, pagkabalisa, takot, at pangumulila, naway makita ang liwanag ni Kristo na tumatanglaw sa kanila. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga namayapang tapat sa Panginoon, naway tumanglaw ang liwanag na walang hanggan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso ay itaas natin sa Panginoon ang lahat ng mga pamisa ngayong araw na ito, gayon din ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Ama naming nasa langit na pinagmumula ng lahat ng biyaya, loobin mo na ang dugong ibinuhos ng iyong anak ay magdulot ng higit na paglago sa pananampalataya upang maging makabuluhan para sa sangkatauhan ang kanyang pagkapakasakit. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Let us be God forever. Wash away my sins and cleanse me from all my iniquities. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all His holy church. God, our Father, we celebrate the memorial of the passion and death of Jesus. May our encounter with your Son save us from the evil in us and help us to rise above it. For we know and believe that He is with us and that He is your Son, one God with you and with the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. Eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Delphine and Mauro, whom you have called three days ago from this world to yourself. Grant them who were united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in the resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Putting all our petitions and praises into one, let us now pray to the Father in the words of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, 
I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. We offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, our God in our midst, in the humble form of red and white, the Redeemer of the world. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Our communion antiphon, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have called your church, that is us, to be your sign set in the sight of nations. May our living faith in your Son inspire people to discover and encounter him that with him we may always do what pleases you and serve you. We ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us in our today's um, Eucharistic celebration. Thank you, uh, Brother Moises Evangelista, for our media. Thank you also, Sister Mildred Heron and uh, Sister Nini for the first reading and Sister Judith Mirasol and husband, Brother Dave, for the prayers of the faithful. Kita-kita po tayo. Ah, bukas po, wala pa lang misa. Doon po tayo, 5.30, sa Dono City Church. The Lord be with you. May the good and loving Lord bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God.